on today's episode we are going to be looking at how i made the airpods max in my own way so originally apple had their own landing page for the airpods max which is very very awesome but um i decided to do something so i could show you guys the possibilities of what you can achieve when you decide to you know transform something in your own way so in this episode i already made this design in figma and as you can see it is really slick and beautiful and today i want to transform this from figma into a live interactive website using wordpress with the help of the elementor page builder so here is what we have and i'm going to show you the final version in a minute but this is the version from the figma as you can see up here so um we have the logo and um, the images and everything so i made one or two changes to the images myself and as you can see everything looks really really beautiful so let me show you the final version and um here i am in the final version so there's something i need you to observe if you go to the apple's original landing page as soon as you start scrolling you can see this header it becomes blurry so whatever comes underneath it becomes blurred out so you won't really get details so um, I like that effect and I decided to do the same thing on this website so as you can see right here as soon as I scroll down you can see that the header also becomes blurred out so it becomes blurry and um, if I should go back up it becomes 100% transparent as if there was nothing there before so let me do that again you scroll down you see it shrinks down and then it becomes blurry if i go up it expands again come down it shrinks down so this effect i'm going to be showing you how you can achieve this as well as the code i used in getting this done all right so let me show you every other part of the website so we have this introducing apple's max and then some content so but i want you to know that every content you see right here and the one I copied down from Figma to the original website right here were all gotten from Apple's AirPods Max original landing page. So I copied all the content from here, including some of the images as well. So in case you're wondering how I got this. All right, so we have the hero section with two buttons. The header section already has um, the same amount of um, links they have here, the overview, text space, text specs, and then i added compare and buy now so if you scroll down you see this other section right here i also got this idea from their original website so if you want to check that out i'll leave a link in the description below as well so right here we are going to be making use of the new feature of um, elementor which is the hotspots feature so as you can see if i hover over this um animation right here you can see the text coming from the top and uh, it says the canopy spanning the headband is made from a breathable neat mesh so this is what i'm talking about so if i hover back out you can see that it disappears if i hover on it again it comes to view and note notice that it's going to the top so if i should take this and hover it comes to the left and um, if i hover over this one it comes to the right and this one goes to the bottom like so so um this is how i would like it to look like but in apple's original website this is what they did so um you see the contents here this is the canopy which is this one this is for this and this is for this while the cup this cup is actually down here so i decided to do the same thing but in a different way all right guys so then we have this other content and uh yeah followed by the casing so this is original apple's case this is the case apple made and then you can buy it and then this is the case a company in this particular company right here this is the case they made so and it's durable as well you can also buy then moving forward we have the colors that apple offers with this product so this content is also gotten from their own website as well so yeah so these are the colors that we have and i'll be showing you how i made this happen using the wordpress elementor page builder all right so guys without further ado i'll take you right into the page editor all right see you there
All right. So we're going to start with the hero section. So for that, I'm going to create a section with two columns. And I'm going to give this section a width of 1000. And then I'm going to come to the style tab. I want to give it a color of 0F0F10. So that's our dark color. And next, I'll come back to the layout. The, the height is supposed to be fit to screen. So we have this. So the next thing I want to do is also to create a header. So for the header, I think I'm just going to grab um, a template from Elementor's library. So I'm going to come down to the category and filter down to the header. So I'm going to select this. So I will give this a height of 100. And then in the advanced tab, I want to give the margin minus 100 as well. Next, I'm going to delete this image because we don't need an image as a logo. So I'm going to hide in the heading and I'll change the text to airport max, like so. I'll come to the style tab, give it a white color. And next, I'm going to change the font size to 22. So by default, we have the Poppins font, and that's what we're going to be using for all this. So if I should change it to Poppins, you see that it doesn't make any effect because it is already Poppins. So in case you're wondering which font we're using. So that is it. So for the weight, I'm going to make it 600, which is fine. So next, at the nav menu. So as you can see, there is this black background that comes over it whenever you hover over it. So I'm going to take that off right here. I'll set the pointer to none, so now it doesn't show. The text are there, the menus are there, but they are white already. It automatically selected the Apple's Max menu that I created from the WordPress dashboard. So, next I'm going to come back to the Style tab. And in the Style tab, I want to change the color, the text color to white, like so. The font family from Roboto, I want to set it to Poppins. And then the 16 is fine, but instead of 300, I'll do, let's say 500. Okay, 500 is better. And then I'm going to bring this closer by reducing the space in between them. Something around that is fine. Let's do 20. All right. So next, I'm going to come to the hover state right here. And I'll change the text color to white, but then reduce the the white a little bit. So we have this effect when we hover over it. Nice. All right, so that is that for the nav menu. And then for the button, we'll change the text to buy now. And then come to the style tab. So we have our color, the blue color we use for this. So I'm just going to copy and paste it in. I'm going to copy the color. Let's zoom in. So I'll paste it in right here. So we have that color right there. And next, the hover as well we're going to paste it in but this time we'll bring it down a bit so it's a little bit dark it's to be darker from the original blue and the text is going to be white right here as well so we don't need a border so we're going to set that to none but then we need a border radius so we're going to make this 35 but then it's too close to each other so what i want to do next is come down to the padding Instead of 20, 20 yeah, I'll make it 35 and to the left as well, 35. So right and left have 35, 35. And in the typography, I'll change this to Poppins. And then for the size, I'm going to make it 18. And then I want to set the transform property to capitalize. like so and then the weight is going to be 500 as well 
all right so this is looking better okay so here's what we have right now and i forgot to change the width of the entire here header section so i'm going to make that width from full width i will make it boxed and then 1000 so now this is what we have much better all right so i'm going to come back to the hero section and in the first column i want to change the column width to 60 percent and then i'm going to come back to the menu right here and then drag in a heading so for the heading we want to pick this and then replace with this then come to the style tab and give it white color next i'm going to set the typography the, the size is going to be 20 pixel and that is all so the next thing we'll do is drag in another heading but this time we're going to be copying this instead then in the style tab make it white as well and then come to the typography make the font size 90 pixel next we'll be dragging in the text editor and come back here copy all this and then paste it right here so go back to the style tab the color is going to be white but the opacity will be decreased a little about that next the typography then the font size is going to be 25 and that is it so the next thing is to drag in the button as you can see right here so we have two buttons right here so for that we're going to drag in an inner section and i'm going to copy this button paste it right here and paste it here as well so if you observe there is this space on the left side of the button so i'm going to click on this button go to the advanced tab and set everything to zero do the same thing for the other one zero as well now for the first button we're going to come back here and put in tech specs then i'm going to come to the style tab and make the, the um, background color transparent and then the border we're going to set it to solid and to pixel like so okay we're going to make it white then we'll come to the hover state instead of blue we'll make it white and this is going to be our dark color then i'm going to drag this in so it stays around there and if i hover over this you can see the color changes and then likewise the buy now button all right so next we're going to sort out the image on the right hand side so i'm going to drag in an image in there then pick the right image we have all the images in um you know inserted in the media already so so for the image i'll come down to the advanced tab right here go to the positioning and the, for the position i'm going to put it to absolute so once it is absolute then i want to make already i already experimented this so in case you're wondering how i got the value so but for this it's going to be minus 90 and for this it's going to be minus one two and four so one two four ninety then i'm going to come back to the style tab set this to view height and then make it 40. so this is how it looks like live all right so i might adjust this along the way but let's see how it goes 
for now okay probably let me take it up a little bit so i'm going to come down to the advanced tab again the positioning and then for the vertical axis i'll go back up a little more and a little more all right so this is perfect now i'm going to move to the next section and this section is going to be this part right here this part right here so let's see how we're going to achieve this so first of all i'm going to create a section with two columns and um, i'm going to set it to 1000 pixel the width then for the uh, height I think I'm just going to use the padding for this go to the advanced tab and I'll make the padding 150 from top like so and then I will drag in the, the heading for the first column and then I'm going to copy and paste this in okay but first let's copy this and then paste it in here so I'm going to change the color to a dark color and then I'll drag it above this like so and then the content is going to be design I'll change the font size to about 22 or 23 like so then for this I'm going to copy and paste this in right there this, this, this the color is going to be white the size is going to be 90 oh the color is going to be dark rather sorry like so and then for uh the line height i think i might just set that to um let's say 0 0.9 0 0.9 em is fine and i'm going to drag this out like this so this is what we have all right so that is that for this part right here so next we're going to sort out this part so i'm going to copy this come down to star another two column section and this time around uh, i might just copy this over so i'm going to copy this and paste it in here so then i'm going to go down to the start of oh, first let me change the content so i'll change the content oh all right then i'm going to go to the style tab change the color to our dark color again then i'm going to come to the typography and for the weight i would make that 400 or even 500 okay so i'll leave it at 500 weight and um i forgot to change the width of the entire section so i'll make it 1000 right here okay so for this i'm going to make the line height as well 0 0.9 0 0.0 okay okay 1.7 something around 7 or 6 i think i'm going to leave it at 1.6 Then I'm going to give the entire section a top padding of 50, like so. So now we've accomplished this. Next is to accomplish this right here. And as you can see, this is also having the hotspot. So the hotspot is a new feature that comes up in Elementor Pro. So we're going to be using that in this section. And you're going to see how to use it. It is pretty easy. So let's do that right now. So, but first, uh, I'm going to open up the original Apple AirPods Max landing page. 
because we're going to copy some of the content from there so let me do that all right so here's the part that we need now i'm going to come back here i'll create a section i'm going to create a section with two column as well and for this i'm going to make it a thousand width come to the advanced tab and give it a top margin of 50 pixel as well like so next i'm going to make this column the first column right here i'm going to give it about 41 or 42 pixel let's do 41.3 like so and i'm going to drag in the hot spot in here so i'm going to type in hot spot this one i'm going to drag it right in and then for the hot spot i'm going to select the image this one right here and click on insert media so after that i'll come down to the start tab i want to make sure the width is on max width i'm going to use the view width so 100 percent view width and after that i'll come to the advanced tab in the advanced tab i want to unlink the margin then i want to give it a negative margin of a negative margin left of 106 like so so we have some room here all right so after this i'm going to start putting in the hotspot in place so now we already have one hotspot but we can't see this is the item or item one right here but we can't see it so we're going to give that a color for us to be able to see it so for the color i'm going to choose white as you can see now it is obvious so next i'm going to come back to the content i'll click on the hotspot then i'll click on the item but first let me show you that you can actually animate this so if any any animation you want for now i'm using the expand animation that is why you see this other white spanning across but if i click on this and choose soft beat you see how soft beat looks like so it depends on which one you want so for me i'm just going to go with the expand right here so i'm going to come down here click on the item and this is where you can paste your content so for the content i'm going to copy this from apple's original landing page come back here and paste it in like so now this canopy is actually for this part so how do we get this hotspot to this very top right here so we'll come down to the position while still in the item one you come to the position so in this position all you can do is drag in this offset to the top like so until you are satisfied with where it is placed so right there is where i like it to be so with that if i should hover over this nothing happens because we haven't set how we want it to show if i click on it that's when you see the animation but that is not what we want actually so we don't want to know until someone clicks on it except it's on the mobile so if it's on the mobile then if someone clicks on it to pop up because you can hover while on mobile but right here we want it to be that as soon as you click on it as soon as you hover right it opens in desktop versions and all so we're going to come to the tooltip for the hover animation we'll come to the tooltip and then instead of click the trigger instead of click we'll make it hover so now if i hover over it you see the text coming out but note that the text number one is just in one straight line and it is on an, a transparent background so there is no background underneath it so you can't even see because it is white so what we're going to do now is come down to the style tab right here so while in the style tab we're going to come to um let's see the hot spot no let's come to the tooltip so in this tooltip the color is white already as you can see but we can still set that to white just to be sure so now as you can see the color is still white but the background so we're going to make that dark 
all right so now if i hover over this you can see the dark background underneath so this is much better next we don't want this to span across everywhere like this so what we're going to do is come back to the content hotspots and by the way this thing that you see the white um circle that you see here this is the hotspots and then when you over over it what shows what comes up like this is the tooltip so in case you want to know which one you're editing so now i want to edit the tooltip so we're going to come to the hotspot the item one right here come to the positioning and in this positioning um you know initially this was like this the custom tooltip property was set to off so you must make sure you turn that on and then you get all these properties so for the position what this is simply talking about is right now if i hover over this you can see that the tooltip is showing at the bottom the tooltip is showing at the bottom so this is what this is for so if i should make this go to the left watch what happens so as you can see it's coming from the left if i go to the top it's coming from the top right now as you can see so um but in this section i'll, I'll definitely leave it at the very very top so next for how do we solve this text spanning across everywhere like this that's very easy so we'll do that with number one the text wrap so when i hover over this right now you can see how it displays it wrapped the text but this is not too very okay so what we can do is increase the weight to somewhere about let's leave it that and see so this is what we have so we're going to make this let's give it our own value probably 230 and see all right so this is better for now so next i don't like the fact that the text are almost touching the edges so what i can do is go back to the style tab then in the tool tip i want to give that a border a padding rather of let's do 30 and see all right so i think 30 is perfect in this case so but then i think i want to increase the width a little bit more so i'm going to come back to the hotspot the item that we have position and then i want to increase that to probably 250 and let's see what we have now so as you can see this is much much more better all right and it's coming from the top so if you want to you know um, probably give your own two tip um, a border radius you can actually do that from the style tab from the style tab you go to the two tip and in the two tip you can see border radius right here so you can actually give this some round corners right here but i think i'll just leave mine like this because i like it like this so next we need as you can see right in our um figma templates we have three of these right here up four of these rather so we have one here one year and one year and we are following what apple has here as well so this is for this this is for this and this is for this while this bottom one right here is for the cup right here so next we're going to copy this copy go back to our elemental editor and come back to the ten the content hotspots and we're going to duplicate this item so now we'll have item one and item two but as you can see we can't find the item two and that is because it is underneath or above this um the item one already so we're going to click on item two come to the position and here the vertical offset we're going to we got vertical orientation we're going to offset it down a little bit like so so as you can see somewhere around there is probably fine so or we can make it 35 hmm, 35 should be much let's do 30 let's see yeah somewhere around 32 is fine okay so for this we're going to change the content as well so we've already copied that from apple's original landing page so i'm just going to paste that here and if i should hover over this you can see it's also going to the top and this is also going to the top so what we can do come to the position of the item two and instead of top we want to make this go left so if i hover over the first one it goes to the top and if i hover over the second one it goes to the left next we're going to come back here and copy the third right here 
so we'll come here and then we're going to duplicate this again so now we have three items so for the contents of this one i'm going to paste that in right there and come to the position again i want to bring it down like so yes somewhere around hmm, around there it's perfect okay so all right guys so this is where this is going to be and the content is already there so i think we want this to come in from uh the right when we hover over it so when we hover it's coming from the right when we hover on this it comes from the left and this goes to the top so next we have this cup so for the cup we're going to duplicate this again now we have four of them so let's copy the contents it's down here so i'm going to copy this and paste it right here as well come to the position and the vertical orientation we're going to drag it like so until we are satisfied so i think seven to one is fine and if i hover over it it's coming to the left but this time i want it to go downward so now if i hover it's coming downwards like so right left top left right down so this is it for the hotspot guys i hope you um i hope you understand everything that i've been showing you so far and please if you enjoy this tutorial kindly please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up it's going to go a long way all right so let's update this because we don't want to lose our file in case our network is bad or something so now we're going to focus on this part on the right hand side so right here we're going to focus on this so in order to get this i'm going to go back now we don't need our apple um apple landing page anymore so i'm just going to close that so we can have a clean look so for this i'm going to Hmm. let me see okay i'm going to drag in um an inner section so i'm going to drag in an inner section into this column so for this inner section what i want to do is come right here and i'm going to drag in an image so this is going to be for the logo next we'll have the heading and this is going to be for the title then we're going to have the text editor so we need this for the description all right we're going to select our icon rather so the icon is this chip right here so i'm going to click on insert media and come to the style tab in the style tab i want to make this 10 percent like so and back to the content i want to align it to the left so it sticks to that part next this part right here so i'm going to come to figma copy this content come back here and then replace this with that come here to the style tab give this a dark color And then in the typography, I'll make the, I think I'm just going to make the font size, is it 18, is 18 fine? Um, okay, I think I should make it 16 because that is a bit big. All right, so 16 is fine in this case. So I'll take a text editor as well. Um, for the text editor, i'm going to first let me copy the content so i'll copy this and then i'm going to paste that right here come to the style tab the color is going to be a dark color
but in this case we're going to reduce the opacity a little bit like so next i'm going to come to the typography and then i want the size to be 13 just like that and the line height could be 1.7 just like so all right so that is that for this part so now what i gotta do is duplicate this couple times so the first one then i'm going to delete this empty one right here this empty column so after that i'm going to duplicate this section as well like so okay so now we have four of these so next i'll change the content one by one so for this one right here i'm going to change the image so we'll take the sensor icon insert and then for the text we'll come back here pick this up replace with this for this mm. so i'm going to come to figma copy all this as well and then replace with this then same thing for every other ones right here so this is going to be the microphone and then the content next this is going to be the controls all right so let's take a look hmm. so this is working fine also this is also okay but i missed the details for the sensor and um, as you can see there is enough a lot of gap a lot of white space right here that is not needed so we're going to get rid of that and also this whole content is supposed to be in the middle of this hotspot not like above it or something so we're going to fix that in a minute so how do we do that first let's edit our sensor content so i'm going to click on this come back here and uh, made a mistake right here all right so i'm going to copy this and then paste it right here okay so for this part i'm going to click on this inner section and then come to the advanced tab in the advanced tab i'm going to unlink the margin and then set the margin give the margin top some negative value like so until we are satisfied so I think I'm just going to make this uh, probably 30, negative 30. Let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, so negative 40 should be fine in this case. And then for us to put this whole content in the middle so it aligns with this image right here. So we're going to select the entire column right here not any of the inner columns right here, but the entire column of this particular section right here so we're going to select that and in the vertical align we're going to click on it and make it middle so once that is set if you take a look now you see that it is in the dead center of everything right here let's see that all right so this is what we have now guys next we are going to go down to the next stage which is going to be the casing part right here so as you can see we have casing right here hmm. i don't know why i keep making mistake here i keep editing that content all right so we have two cases right here so the first case is by apple and the other one is by this company called co2 or something i don't know how to pronounce that but 
they make um durable um you know casing for travelers specifically all right so this section is what i'm going to do next it's pretty easy so just follow my steps so i'm going to come here i'll create a section and that section i want to create a two column inside of it so next i'm going to give it a 1000 width and then in the advanced tab i want to give it a top margin of 100 and then padding top of 100 as well and then bottom of 50 like so so in order to see what we just did i'm going to give this a color so the style i'm going to come back here make the background type click on this and 0 f 0 f 1 0 like so so we have we have a um, color right here so now we have two columns in here already so what i'm going to do is hmm, what just happened i think i did something wrong so i'm going to go back to the advanced tab let's see what we do oh this is 1000 so i'm going to make it 100 not 1000 okay so for this section um, i'm going to come back to the top right here i want to copy this text i'm going to copy this come here and then paste it in right here so i'll change the content come back paste that right there and then i'll come to the style tab then i want to basically reduce the size about 77 i guess yeah so next the line height we're going to reduce that as well until we are satisfied so let's do yeah 0.9 is fine so i'm going to go back up again copy this button come back here and paste it right here <laughs> next we come to the advanced tab while the button is still active come to the advanced tab unlink the top the margin and then give it a top margin of let's say probably 30 pixel is just fine then we come back here we want to drag in an image in here so we're going to select our uh, the first case made by apple which is this one right here so this one next as you can see this is also at the very top so we want to click on the entire section the entire column not the section the entire column right here and then the vertical line we're going to make that middle so it fits just right in like so next we will duplicate this content and we want to get rid of the go to the advanced tab get rid of this set it to zero and then the top as well we don't need that like so so next we'll swap these two columns so we're going to drag the next column either of the column just drag and take it to the next side and then release it like so so for this we'll change the content to this and then the image we're going to change that as well we we'll set that to this image right here so now we are officially done with these two parts right now so next the most critical part i guess is uh probably the uh this section right here so we're going to see how we can achieve this um yeah let's dive right in okay so i'm going to create another section right here with um a single column i guess and then i'll come to first i want to make this 1000 width and then i want to give it a color a dark color as well all right so uh 
in this column this single column i want to drag in an inner section and in this inner section i'm going to go to the very top copy this and then come back here and paste it in like so all right so the next thing i want to do is change the content of course so i'm going to come here all the content i've been copying all along we are all gotten from the original apple airport max landing page so with this i'll come to the style right here i want to make this 0.9 and then i want to drag this all out like so next um i'm going to come down here again and drag in another inner section Hmm. I want to place that in. Okay, so what we can do, I think we just duplicate this one. So we have two of them right now. So I'm going to delete this content and then make the column even. I'll just delete. I'll just delete this one. So now we have one single column, but then I'll duplicate that one, two, three, and four. So we have three in the middle, one on each side right there. So next, I want to click on this and then I'll just give it a top margin of, go to the advanced tab, give it a top margin of 200 pixel, like so. So next, I want to come down here. First, let me duplicate, um, I think, should I? okay let me just work with this first so in this next the second column right here i'll give it a color and the color is going to be um let me just copy the color over from the figma so i want to select um, this and then copy come back and paste all right so we have our color right there and next i want to drag in the image like so. so i'm going to select this next i want to copy or paste in the color of the headset we want to put first so i think this is the blue one i'm going to go with this now what i want to do next right now is i'll change the size of this or probably i'll just leave it like that but come to the advanced tab in the advanced tab i want to unlink the margin and then give it a negative margin of seven seventy seven like so so we have a negative margin of 77 right there and for this column for the column what we can do is come to the advanced tab and then unlink the padding for the bottom we want to give it a padding of 20 like so so what I'll do next after that is I I would come down. Let me see. Uh, okay. So I'll come back here. Insert another image into the same column. Click on it to give to and um, select the right image that I need. So for that, we'll be using this our cart image. I'll click on insert and then i want to change the size go to the style make that i think 19 should be fine in this case and then um afterwards i think i'll go back to the advanced tab and for the advanced first let me come to the content i want to align this to the right so it's on the very end so go to the advanced and unlink the margin so from the right side we want to give it a 25 pixel margin from the right like so so this is what we have now so next i'm going to duplicate this layer this um entire inner section right here i'm going to duplicate this so now we have two inner sections so for this i'm going to delete the image and then the second image as well and then the color for the color of this column i'm going to 
remove the color entirely. So what I'll do next is go to the advanced tab of this inner section. Go to the advanced tab. Remove this right here. Instead, we'll give it a negative. So we'll give a negative of, uh, let's just keep going. And um, I think about, about this is better. So 62, a negative 62 pixel for the margin top. And in that new, um, in the new inner section, this column right here, we're going to drag in the heading and put it inside of it like so. And then we're just going to give this, say, blue. Like that. Come to the Style tab. Make this white color, obviously. And for the font, let's just play and see value that we like. I think um, about 20 should be fine in my own case. Or 22. All right, let's leave it at 22. So now let me click on this and see if my layer is in the middle. So I want to put that in the middle just in case. And then I'll click on this entire section. But as you can see, I can't, I can't easily click on this section. So what I can do, okay. But if you can click on this, you just come to the navigator right down here. And then you can easily locate the section you want. So in my case, I just clicked on this one right here. So I want to reduce the negative. I'll keep reducing it until I'm satisfied. So what I actually want is for this text to be in line with this button. So I think about 54 should be fine. Yeah, or 53.5. Let's do 53.5. Yeah, I think this is much okay. This is much better. So for the text, what I can do now is uh, probably I can, um, let's see. Okay, so. I'll come down to the text, go to advanced tab and I'll link the margin. Then I'll give it a 15 pixel margin. Like so from the left side. Or probably we could even bring that even much more further about less than 20. Like so. So 20 is fine. And I think we've achieved this like that. So if I should take a look now, we should have this. So this is much better, guys. So now I'm going to come back. I want this column to have a border radius. So I'll come to the style while the column is selected. Come to a border, and then the border radius. I'm going to let's say probably eight. I think eight should be fine in this case. All right, because I don't want it to be too much. So eight is better. So in this case. What I want to do now is I'm going to duplicate all this. So let me put this right here. So I'm going to duplicate this a couple times and then the one underneath it as well. So duplicate this again and duplicate the one underneath as well. So next I'm going to delete this and delete the one underneath. Delete this one as well. And do the same for the bottom as well. So now we have this content like this. Let me show you. So here is what we have. Awesome, right? Okay, so let's see how we can give some space in between them. So um, what I can do right now is click on this. I'll click on this. Come to the advanced tab and unlink this margin so for the margin right i'm going to make that 25 and come to the left and give it negative 25 negative 25 hold on all right so negative 25 like so and then i'll do the same thing for this this section underneath it so I'll come to the advanced tab, unlink this, 
and this is going to have negative 25 and then th this is going to have 25 not negative so I'm going to leave this as it is what I'll do now is repeat the same step for this so I'll come to the advanced tab I'll link this so for the left it's going to be 25 not negative and then for the right it's going to be the negative 25 so negative 25 then we'll do the same thing for this bottom as well advanced or link this 25 let's copy this come down here paste it but go back and give it a negative value so negative 25 so if i should do this now here is what we have guys pretty awesome right so if you enjoyed this tutorial so far please consider subscribing and hitting the like button all right so how do we get the other two we could easily come right here and then duplicate this is going to be tricky a little so um let's see how we can solve this so i'm going to come here duplicate this hmm. now i'm going to come here as well and duplicate this so we have two of this and we have two of this as well so for the this the um last one I just duplicated, let me see. So if I select this, okay. So for this section right here, if you have, if you're following along, you can do exactly the same thing I'm doing. So for this one that I selected, this is the second to the last item on the navigation right here. It's the last second to the last inner section right here. So I'm going to come to the advanced tab, and then the negative value is going to increase. So for instance, I'm going to do 200 let's see okay negative 200 is not okay so i'm going to do 500 so just play around with the value okay 400 hmm. and now we can use our navigation button to adjust this as we please so i think about that should be fine so let's take a look and see what we have all right so this is what we have now so what we can do now is um, to bring this closer. So I'm going to try to locate this. All right. So this one right here, this is the third to the last right here. So I'm going to click on the advance, and um, this is I'm going to take this off first. Let's see what we have. Okay. So a little like so let's keep going let's keep going i think we need to readjust something else but let's keep going okay so i think about 90 should be fine so now as you can see this section right here is out of it so we're gonna see how we can adjust that so we'll come back and reduce the negativity right here So reduce the negative value. Keep going, keep going, keep going. So if you're watching this, you can just wait until I'm done and then you give the right value instead of trying to experiment like I'm doing. So you can just wait to give the right value. So now we have everything in place. So if I should preview this down, this is how everything looks like. So now let's change the content so to change the content i'm going to click on this first let me see the next so we have gray and green so the image right here i'm going to change that so i'm going to select the gray one insert and then change the text as well to gray next this is going to be the green one so I'm going to take the green version right here and insert, change the text as well to green. So let's see the other two. So we have pink and silver. So for the pink, uh, how do I get the image? So I'm going to come use this to get it. So I'll come to this section, the second column this image 
so I'm going to click on that so I'll select the pink version and change this to pink as well so the last one is going to be a silver so I'm coming here um, no right here sorry the first one so I'm going to click on this so I'll select the silver version right now and then change the text as well to so silver all right so we are done with this part so the next thing we want to do is this last one right here so I'm going to come back to the top this section we are going to delete this image delete this other image and this column itself while the column is selected i'm going to come to the style tab because if you check what we have here we have no background but we have the text so first let me copy this text and then we have this white border around it so i'm going to come back here in the style tab i'll unlink this so we don't see any background and i'll come to the border so for the border i want to give it a solid border and then for the radius it's going to be zero we don't need any border radius there so the border is going to be one and then the color is going to be white so next let's drag in the heading like so in here all right so we don't need um this right here the, the blue text there we don't need that so for this i'm going to paste in what i copied earlier come to the style tab make this all white come to the typography i'm going to make this 300 and then for the size i'll just play around with it like so so i think 28 should be fine oh uh, mm -hmm. okay i can do 20 all right so let's see so i'll come back to the column the column itself i'll go to the advanced tab so i want to give this some padding not just to the bottom but everywhere so it's going to be 25 that's a 25 okay i think this is better all right so if we should view this now this is what we ended up with guys so this is pretty much what we have here right so it is not easy making this with wordpress especially in elementor it is a bit difficult as you've seen so far so this took much time than every other section here has taken already so next what, what we are going to do now is to fix the um the footer area here which is this simple part right here so in order to do that we'll come back to the elementor um we'll create a section with probably let's do two column okay so we we'll set this to 1000 and then come to the style tab we want to give this the same dark color and then um okay let's go to the advanced tab here give this some padding top and bottom so let's do 30 top and 30 bottom as well and then hmm. Hmm. all right so i think i'm just going to use a single column right here so for this column then for the entire section right here i'll just give this I think probably 150 or 160 padding top like so I can even do more let's do let's do 180 so um, let's see I think that is let's make it more 90 okay let's just do 200 from the top all right so for this section itself first let me drag in inner section to be secured 
all right so i'll click on the main section itself the main column rather and then i'll come to the style tab and then the border for this border i'll go to i'll give it a solid border of two and for the color i'm just going to copy this color so whatever value we have here all right so we have that color there and if i should take this out this is what we have so but we don't have, want the, the border to be on all four sides so we only want it to be at the very top i forgot to do that so um first i think i'll just i'll just do this zero and then unlink this and give this two all right so now this is what we have okay so all we need to do now is put in our content so to achieve that we'll come back to figma um we have our airport max and then the copyright hmm. so what i can do is duplicate this and uh yeah mm -hmm. okay all right so let me duplicate this as well so now i can drag this over and then drag this over okay so next i'm going to go back to the very top i'll copy this come back down and paste it into this column so we have that so i'm going to drag this all the way like so until i'm satisfied then i'll come back here i'll copy this copyright come here and then i'll drag in the heading and then i'll paste that right there come to the style tab give this a um uh let's give let's see the color we have here so I'm going to copy the original color we have here and paste that right in. So right there, I'll come to the typography, probably 12. And um, yeah, 12 is fine. So for the weight, uh, I think I'll do 300. Or let's leave it at 400. Okay. So for this column, I'll click on the column and then the vertical align to the middle so it's centralized like so all right so next i'm going to sort out these two parts so um yeah let's see let's see let's see all right so i want to copy this over paste it in here and paste this in here so uh for the column i'll put this to the middle and then same thing for this to the middle and then the content this is going to be terms of use so you should probably know your own way of making this work so this is just what i i think i should do uh if you know a better way you could easily do that or you could just grab templates from the elemental library right here it is very very easy you just edit that but let me just do this based on what i have right here so and then the country is canada so i'm going to click on this paste that right here and then choose like so so i can finally drag this like so and until i'm okay with what i have hmm. all right so if i should take this out of the way this is what we have okay so i think i need some a little bit padding to the top so I'm going to click on this and uh, come to the layout first. Let me see if I can make everything to the middle. Hmm, it's still to the top. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'll go to the advanced tab and I'll link this. Then I want to give this a margin top of, let's do 15, 15, not 150. And then let's I did margin no i'm supposed to do padding so i want to do padding of top 15 and if i should take this out 
all right so this is much better we could do 20 or 25 let's see okay all right so this is everything for this part so next um let's see how we can do that effect on this hair the header section here where we have the blurry effect like that of apple's main um, landing page so there's this blur effect on the header as soon as it starts scrolling it, it shrinks a little the header reduces in size in height rather and then the background becomes blurry and it sticks to the very top it doesn't disappear like this so let's see how we can do that um let me select the header so i'm going to select this header from here and then I'm going to come to the advanced tab so i would have preferred to show you guys how i got the actual values and the actual css um, tags and html tags that i use to get this css part i'm going to paste right here so if you're wondering how i got here i click on the header and then came to the advanced tab and then i'll be pasting the code right here so this is basically the code that i made when i was um checking on this landing page of um apple the main apple airports max landing page so i discovered that they have the blurry effect header right there so i decided to do that so i um i actually when i finished the main website that i displayed before now i inspected all these tabs and everything right here i inspected the header section just to get the main css tags and then the html tag that i can use to style this so i would have loved to show you that but basically if you're in wordpress you definitely don't have time for programming or coding so that is why you're using wordpress so we just cut through that and then i'll paste it right here but then i will also leave the um the code maybe in the description or maybe the entire um template so if you like this video subscribe and then maybe comment it on comment on this video then i might probably give you the whole template for free so right here i'm just going to paste that in so as soon as i paste that in um nothing is going to happen yet and the reason is because this ta this section right here we have to go to the advanced tab come down to the motion effect and in this motion effect this ticky right here we're going to set that to top so now you can see it works you can see that the blurry effect is there but it is right there from the very beginning as soon as you start scrolling it is already there even like this so how do we make that happen in a particular um, period like when we scroll to a particular height or a certain height we want that effect to take place not just when the page is loaded automatically so in order to do that in um in the motion effects right here the part where it says effects offset so before the effect take place we want it to be 100 so if i set that to 100 as you can see if i save this and after it's done saving i preview it in another tab let's see what we get all right so as you can see now this is completely transparent the header is completely transparent 100 percent transparent and you can see everything underneath it including the image the text is there everything is 100 percent okay but then as soon as i start scrolling watch what happens so as you can see as soon as i get to that 100 percent height or 100 picture height it shrinks the header shrinks a little like so and then it becomes blurry but right here it's transparent but now it has that blurry effect on the background and then everything becomes blurry as seen right now so guys this is the end of this tutorial please if you like this video like i said if you want me to keep doing something like this and you want to keep seeing content like this consider subscribing to this channel and hitting that bell notification if you do that um each time i post new content you're going to get this because i haven't uploaded anything for a long while now and that's because i've had one or two um you know ups and downs that i've been facing and then battling with but now i'm fully back so i'm posting content regularly these days and it's going to be complete design like this so make sure to hit that subscription button and then make sure to hit 
um, turn on the bell notification so as soon as I upload it, be the first to get notified. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.